Hello Internet, so it's June 5th and tomorrow slash tonight is the Fault in Our Stars. I've got my shirt on. Can you see it? There we go. Um, and we've run into a bit of a bump in the road to the Fault in Our Stars. So a while ago when it was come when tickets first went on sale, we bought tickets to the midnight showing and we bought a certain number of tickets and then one of those people couldn't go and then I offered said ticket to another person and then the person who originally said they could not go now can go so now we're going to pick up another ticket and hope for the best yeah okay so my mom just went in to buy the tickets and uh, or the ticket the singular ticket um, and it's really funny because I'm sitting here and we're not going to come line up until 8.30 because it's midnight showing. But I, I keep like seeing people like walk in and I'm like, you're definitely going to the Fault in Our Stars because the night before our stars, like those people are probably going to the Fault in Our Stars. There were people in like Tiffios blue t-shirts with their preparedness backpacks and everything. And uh, they're definitely going to the Fault in Our Stars. So, yeah, wow, that was f fast. Oh, my mom's coming. I'm really concerned because that was definitely too fast to buy a ticket. I'm concerned! Hello, Internet. I'm lopsided, and I know that's because I'm driving, and I'm not good at vlog driving, and I don't have a thing to put my camera on. So, um, I'm on my way now to pick up Izzy and Katie and then come back and pick up my mom and then we're gonna go to the theater and at some point I have to explain to the people who don't know how many people because literally I me and my mom are the only two people who know how many people are actually coming with us everyone else is at least to some degree in the dark hi internet we're on our way to Tiffio's um Terry's I found an Izzy here's driving hit, hit. I have I have cupcakes yes but you can't see them, but oh my god. Okay. I, I have my glasses, and I have my shirt, and the wrong side of my body, and I have my pin. I have acquired a Katie. Hi. Oh, uh, dancing. Dance. Ginger, and... Ginger and... Ginger and... Dancing. Ginger Rogers and... Fred Astaire. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, next. That's a deep camera. Uh, what? Crocodile. Crocodile. What? Crocodile. It's over. We're in line for the Fault in Our Stars. More people are here. We're playing fun games. It's here. super exciting. And we acquired a Kieran and an Alex. It's been like three ish days since I watched the Fault in Our Stars. I don't know actually how many days, it's summer, I lose track of the number of days. Um, but I've been trying to think of a coherent tangent for you guys in Re of the Fault in Our Stars. But I haven't really come up with anything, so I'm just gonna rant or talk at you. And hopefully something will happen that'll be coherent. So, here we go. First off, I thought the movie was amazing and beautiful. <laughs> I was about to say the cinematography was great, but then I realized that would make me sound like I didn't like the movie, which is untrue. I loved the movie, but like, I'm a TV and movie nerd, and the more I learn about cinematography and stuff like that at school, the more I notice it in movies and shows, so that's why I said that. No, the movie is fantastic, and it's really true to the book, and like every single time uh, they directly quoted the book, which was a lot, like I, I freaked out, and then my friend who was sitting next to me, Katie, who you saw in the video, Hi. also freaked out, and it was just so cool. It was such a good, such a good movie. But, like, I'm still in shock, I think, that's a, that it's an actual thing. Like, I'm probably going to have to see it a couple more times. And I kind of don't want to do that, because I, I cried a lot the first time. Like, I would love to see it again, but, like, can I just stop at the sad part? And I'm bad with sad things. Like, I've never watched the end of Titanic, because 
I know what happens and I don't want to see that happen. I, it was such a good movie, but it feels unreal, like, like it didn't happen. Like, it, we all just dreamt it collectively. That's, that's how I feel. <laughs> is it was amazing and wonderful and completely true to the book. Shay did a wonderful job and Ansel did a wonderful job. Nat was great. I loved the Night of the Broken Trophies and just it was so perfect. The only thing, the only thing I did not like was that they didn't have the beautiful couple is beautiful. Um but that's for us to yell at the screen. So that's what I've decided, Nerd Fighteria, that when you go see the movie, if you see it like a second time or you still haven't seen it, when they're like, I don't know, pick a moment and just yell, the beautiful couple is beautiful at the screen. And that's, that's what I think. Um, other than that, the movie was fantastic. Uh, I hope you guys liked it. I'm probably gonna see it again. I don't know when. I'm gonna bring a lot of tissues. Although I don't use tissues when I cry in movies. Or like at all. Like I let the tears soak into my face. I'm a weird person. <sighs> DFDBA. Uh, I might film another video today and change shirts and trick you guys into thinking it's tomorrow. Hello Internet! So today we're gonna talk about things that Whedonites talk about. Or the things that I talk about, and I'm a Whedonite, so technically, things that Whedonite talk about. Well, that's what I'm going to talk about today. I'm just going to start. So, uh, 